to have the same solution. Now, the problem itself says this. We're, give, we're given a hexagon, perfect hexagon. Or we're given that the two sides of this hexagon, like this AB and BC, in vector form, they're just given by little p and little q. The job is to express the diagonals and this other side of my hexagon as an expression through p and q. Which diagonal you think is the easiest to express? Eh? AC, thank you very much, because it's a straight application of, of triangle rule of the, because that's a, that's, a, that's a clear triangle, here it is. All I have to do, I have to add AB and BC, right? I have to take this AB, I have to take this BC, and I have to add them up. And that's just this direct answer for the AC diagonal, isn't it? Okay, which diagonal we should approach next? Say again. AD, how would you approach that? To Q, that's the correct answer. And how, did you, how do you see that? It's the something which I call identification of vectors on the previous slide, right? You, if you can match the vectors by parallel transition, they, should, they, they are identical vectors. And by, so you can use the like, move, or you can say the identification of vectors. And by doing this identi identification, we can see that the AO vector is the same as BC vector, isn't it? Because they matched by parallel transition. It's one of the properties of the perfect hexagon, by the way. So I can st say straight away that the AO vector is simply Q, isn't it? And now that's the half of the story. The second half says that the, the AD diagonal, because that's the diameter of my circumscribed circle around my hexagon, it will be double of this AO, and that's why the should be double of Q. Uh, the remaining two vectors, AF and AE, which of those we should attack first? So you want to find AF. Uh, how do you find AF? P is parallel is uh, to FO. Good. AO becomes Q. And this one you have to, yeah, now I see what it means. So we have to say that the uh, OF, I guess, it's better to say o, OF, I, I think, right, will be because it's a parallel to AB and it's like in the opposite direction in my writing, it will be negative of PQ. Is that right? Yeah. OF. Now, AO, it's here. Now, all we have to do, we have to add this vector and this vector, and that can be done, I think, without my help. We can add these two vectors, and that will give me AF. Or well, it's like a difference of Q and P. And then the AE vector will be, you make the observation that the BC is parallel to FE, so you can conclude that Fe is simply Q, and then you can just add, if you look at this triangle, if you look into this triangle, you can just add Af, which we know the value of now, and this one, which we know the value of now, so we just add this with this, and that will be something like this. It's a direct addition without simplification, of course, we can ask and that's a 2Q take P. That finishes the problem.